Hey folks, I'm Seven Glory, and welcome to part 22 of my Peninsular campaign in Napoleonic Total War 3. In the last part, Wellesley's army here fought and defeated the French army outside Zaragoza. Uh, so hopefully our presence will be enough to encourage the Spanish to retake the city. And then next turn, Wellesley will need to head south and deal with this army. I don't think the Spanish or the Portuguese have enough forces in the area to deal with that, so Wellesley will need to head south, deal with that army, and then move back north to intercept de Grouchy. Uh, in France, we've got Beresford and one Martin Diaz, who are about to go and attack Toulouse. So let's get the Spanish up into position. And what's this? An individual unit. Um, this army it looks like it's all regular units there. Maybe some militia, but we'll find out. Uh, but we'll have Beresford attack the unit outside the town. Infant uh, artillery. So we shall try and destroy that before the rest of the army takes the field. And it does look like it's all regular units. So let's go ahead and fight the battle. So the French army has a fair amount of artillery, but it's got a lot of cav. And what I would like to do is send my cav out to deal with the howitzers that will be on the field to start with. So if I can do that safely, uh, that will then give us the ability to set up where we want to set up. Because the reinforced army is going to have to march onto the battlefield. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Uh, so I'm going to set up and then I'll bring you guys back when that's done. Okay, so here we are. Uh, the French artillery is set up behind this forest on the rear slope of a hill. Uh, however, they are howitzers, so they're able to lob their shells over the forest darkness if they can see us. Uh, they shouldn't be able to see us, but the AI always cheats. Um, so I plan to send my cavalry, cavalry brigade up to wipe them out. We've got our own artillery in here that I want to move up onto this hill. So we take that out, freeze the battlefield for us. If the French come in back there, they've got a long march ahead of them. If they come over here, they've got another long march through the town. If they come over in here, we're in a bit more trouble. So they've got a lot of cav. So I need my cav to deal with this as quickly as possible and then get back to safety. Put the artillery up here. That gives us good field of fire to the left and to the rear. And if they come over here, then we just need to reposition. And the infantry is just going to move up to that sort of position and by the time they get there we'll know where the French are coming from and be able to deploy accordingly. So we've got three regiments, or three brigades again, do that every time. Uh, first, second and the reserve. We've got our skirmishers all together. The skirmishers are going to go into this forest here. And the Spanish should come in over there. So let's go ahead and start the battle. So we'll get our cav to gallop forward if they would. Bring the artillery up to here. Let's get the skirmishers up into there quickly. Infantry to there. And reserve up here as well. Beresford, you can just go in there for now. You're supposed to be running to get there more quickly. Are you going to get a face full of. No, they're not. It looks like the artillery is actually trying to limber up. It was unlimbered and facing us. In the deployment setup, uh, the deployment phase. 
we must have been trying to lumber up to go and meet up with a reinforcing army. Speaking of which, looks like, oh no, there it is. And dragoons to the fore. So let's get this cav pulled back over to there. Looks like their howitzers were destroyed. Um, let's get our infantry moving forward. You head up there. Skirmishers. Um, let's reset you. Take maximum advantage of. I mean, your uh, maximum advantage of the protection that we can get from the forest here against the calf. Okay. And the artillery. Let's have you head up here. If you were to head from there, you in there, you in there, that'll do. Okay, so they're beginning to engage. You guys run forward, really join square. I think you're probably okay where you are. So you both form square there. I don't think that cav would attack into the forest. It's actually been drawn over towards our squares, which is good. You form another one there and there. Artillery, uh, stop what you're doing. You guys have stopped here, that's fine. Take those precious guns back to safety. It would have been nice to get them set up to pour some fire into the calf here, but I think she'll do the job on its own. Okay, one, two, three, four units all routing already. You stay in square just now, don't know what that other calves are going to do. My calf. Let's bring you over here. You can charge into the flank when they retreat. You? You the general's unit? Oh, that's the Spanish. Of course, I forgot the Spanish were on the way in. I'm so caught up with our cavalry attacks over here. Okay, perfect. Two flanks, two squares, should not have charged. Do you know what, you guys move forward to there. Skirmishers reset again. I 
And that cow's all running. So you go out square. You. You actually get forward. I would like to try and wipe this out if I could. Uh, you and Limber. Let's get the infantry down there. Lost uh, a brigade. There we go. These guys are just going to have to do it on their own, I think. Uh, so you there, let's get the artillery set up again. Don't shoot your own men, please. Okay, change to those guys. You go after them. And can you try and get those uh, chasseurs? Okay, you hit them instead. Artillery opening up back there. Right, let's have this cav form up here. We both quickly converge on those chasseurs, try and destroy them, and then we'll pull you back. I think we'll leave that to where it is. My reserve will bring up here. General forward to there. You come back. You actually attack them on the way. Just one quick charge. That's fine. And then get back over here. So we're in column of march. Uh, let's have you across there. Just tr trying to visualize where I want the French to stand. You can be something like that. Our guns have perfect view of the top of that hill. So you can limber. You can go back to firing at will. Let's get the skirmishers forward. Actually, let's take a bit of time and get them into better position. That will do for you. There's only 55 guys left here. And this cav will have over there as a brigade. We'll get these guys as well. We'll bring them over to support the beat up brigade over here. Because what I 
want to do mostly with the cav is go after the artillery now. What's our artillery shooting at? Can you see anything? Nine pounders. Can't reach them. You guys come up here if you would. No. I want to try and get a unit to show me where the French are. This cab over here is probably a better place to do that. Yeah, so if you form up there, you'll be fine there. So that should give me some vision of the French. They are obviously still in the march. So it's gone probably as well as I could have hoped so far. We managed to take out the howitzers straight away. We managed to then engage the cavalry in ground that's pretty much of my choosing. And now setting up to take on the rest. Let's set up our infantry. position. And we'll bring the reserve up. Stay back there for now. This cav will have swing over to the flank. Their artillery back there. Well, that's actually still infantry supports. Artillery must be back here. Skirmish of fire. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. That's fine. Let's have you go back a bit. You walk forward, engage them. back a bit to be honest. Let's get the skirmishers to form a nice flank for these guys. Do we have artillery yet? Ah, stakes. Need to watch out. I'm going to send the cav in. Artillery's here. Our men are running, sir. What? Okay, um, let's get the reserve up there. You pull back. I wonder if that was friendly fire. I wonder if the artillery hit them in the rear. So 
and the sticks there. Okay. You form up like that. You come around there. You come up here. Okay, let's get these guys into lane. Well, we would keep their tifficers back there just now. And you get back into position there. And attack the howitzers. You're going to have to head over there to avoid the stakes. You attack. No, you attack them. You as well. You finish off those guys. So we deserve to push in on the flank here. forward and you can march up as well you can advance again okay you advance and then wheel Skirmishers head up to there. Can you pull back out there? I don't like those guys. i um, been in at the stakes there. You attack them. You have to go for those guys. There's more of them. And I think now. Just have some melee combat to finish them off. And you're in the stakes. You are getting the stakes. And you head over there, you're going to attack them. Let's get you limbered up. Charge those guys. We've got them rounded up over here. Looks like it. Keep on them. Yeah, you finish them off. Uh, we're going to continue because I want the armies wiped out. Who's running? Or oh, the ones that are in the stakes. Damn it, I told you to avoid the stakes, did I not? Uh, okay. You turn and hit them. You and you. Like them as well. Skirmishers, cease fire. Okay, I think we've managed to round up most of the army. I'm worried about that cavalry unit. 
get on to other mistakes though. Uh, you guys come and join the melee. The man of fatigue, sir, must rest a while. Doing enough work on him just now. Uh, and you need to come off skirmish mode. You pull out of there, don't run into the stakes. We've got these guys back here. Take out those sapur. Okay. So they're eager, active. These guys are also eager and active, but they're just not as eager uh, to attack as their colleagues were. Uh, so, where did they go? There they are. I just want to make sure that they are dead. I think some of the cav. Some of the uh, French cav managed to get off early on. So we will have to fight uh, another battle for Toulouse, I think. But for now, I think we can bring this to an end. And 312 men lost. So those guys that ran into the stakes. Probably was. Most almost half their strength, which isn't great. Now, a lot of kills, but too high a cost. There's no need for that. I think the holy boys were the ones who broke here uh, during the battle. Or was it the Skillings? That enemy. Anyway, so. Acceptable losses apart from that, really. They've got 80 men left, so hopefully not enough to maintain an army. Well, they did. One unit of his ours, partial unit, plus uh, armed citizenry, I suppose. So we do need to fight again, uh, but Beresford, you're in okay shape. I'm going to fight it because I want to keep at least those three units out of the battle. So, we will do that. Uh, and I might actually do that because there, there are no armed citizenry. So I'm going to fight that, but I'm going to do that off camera. Uh, when we come back next time, uh, Beresford should be in Toulouse. Okay, so the plan had been to fight this battle off camera and then come back in the next part, uh, but fighting this battle actually brings the campaign to an end. So we'll go ahead and we'll fight it. Uh, it doesn't take very long and uh, that will be the end of our Peninsular campaign. I did debate whether I should actually just continue with the the campaign after fighting this, wiping out the French and going for the 100% victory, but I thought, no, we've done enough uh, and I'm keen to play another campaign actually, to be honest. Uh, whether we'll go straight into that in the channel, I don't know. We do have a total war a, tr a saga Troy, which I might put in a campaign. I'm not enjoying it as much as I had thought I would, but we'll see. So, artillery is going to try and wipe out the general, such as he is. It took two volleys the last time because they do charge towards us. Let's 
some cows there, not many. Maybe in canister range. So one last volley. Go on, you're ready to fire and you go. And you missed. Okay. So if we quit the battle, heroic victory. Completely wiped out, and there we go. End of the campaign. All right. So there we go. Victorious conclusion. I think I'm really debating. I need to think about it. Whether to continue with this. I do like the mod. But the attraction of playing a Darth Mod campaign with 40 units on the field does appeal. I think we might go with the Darth Mod. Anyway, I'll figure that out and see what happens. So, thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the campaign. Uh, please leave me a comment, rate the video, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. And hope to see you again next time. Cheers.